Hey guys and welcome to episode 6 of the Derby Career Mode and start this episode we are in the January transfer window so of course we are going to get a lot of transfer offers as we, as we are top of the table a lot of teams are going to want our players because they are in really good form and there's a lot of them that go up to a really high potential so we're going to request some money off the board as well 4 million hopefully we can get at least like 2 million that'll be really handy of course so yeah a lot of offers in for Carrius of course I think we got one in the last episode and we are going to try and get Danny Ings um, his contract is running out same with uh, Ravel Morrison there's a few other players that we do try and get of course and yeah Danny Ings would be a fantastic signing of course a really good striker. he goes up to about an 82 so yeah it'd be a very good choice and even if he doesn't perform we can sell him on at least for 5 mil so yeah it's a really good deal in my opinion if that can go through and uh, James William as well who goes up to an 85 he does start a little bit low of course at 66 but still has a high potential and we can sell him on for a lot more so heading into our next game against uh, Charlton Athletic a team that we should be able to beat quite nicely in our first game of the episode of course and we head into the 45th minute of the match here we unfortunately give away a penalty uh, Stephen Warnock taking him down in the box of course we did put that offer in for Flanagan so that would be a very good uh, option if we can actually bring him in this window because Warnock he is getting on a bit and of course his rating is only going to go down so they do step up to the penalty and put it away and make it 1-0 in the game and unfortunately that is how it does end so not exactly the most eventful game in the world 1-0 uh, against Charlton we probably should have won that game really and um, yeah we're dropping points not exactly the best start to this episode but I'm sure in this January window that we'll be able to pick up a lot of reinforcements so the price I really want for my players of Hendrik I want about 7 mil and um, Karius I want 15 because both of them I want in this career mode for at least another three seasons and um, yeah I just don't really want to sell them so we did eventually get some money off the board it was only 820,000 but it's better than nothing of course so Heading into our next game against Huddersfield, uh, hopefully we can get a better result than the last game. Of course, Huddersfield aren't exactly the strongest team in the world. They have got Naki Wells, but apart from that, I don't think I could name a single player in that Huddersfield lineup. So, yeah, just uh, playing a bit of a different team for the next game, keeping it nice and fresh, of course. And we are away from home in the overcast, which isn't the best of weather, but we head into the 15th minute of the match here. Naki Wells on the left-hand side just somehow keeps hold of that ball, passes it back to his left-back, but Hendrik with a beautiful through ball gets Roberts through on the right-hand side eventually cuts inside and gets into the box and then puts it into the back post where Johnny Russell is there to put it into the back of the net to get us into the lead in the first 20 minutes a very nice goal of course for the Scottish international fantastic goal for him and um, yeah it's kind of good that Ince and um, Ward are out injured at the moment because it gives the options for Roberts and uh, Russell to get a go so heading into the 33rd minute of the match here we do unfortunately concede a goal a nice through ball goes straight through I think it was actually Keogh with the first pass who gives the ball away massive mistake on his half and um, yeah they make it 1-1 in the 34th minute so not exactly the best time to concede but nevertheless we head into the 60th minute of the match here a long free kick from Huddersfield goes into the box Richard Keogh again just stumbles over the ball luckily shot can get it away get it up to Darren Bent Darren Bent gets it through for Chris Martin I think we were playing the 4-3-1-2 at this position uh, I think we have Martin and Bent up front which is really good I must say them two up front it's uh, really handy and if we do bring in Danny Ings of course that would be a really good attack so yeah, of course, uh, we go into the lead there. Nice finish from Chris Martin. Then we head into the 63rd minute of the match here. A nice tackle from Shot and gets the ball back to us. Craig Bryson gets the ball out wide to Chris Martin. Martin puts it through to Russell. And then Russell gets it through to Darren Bent. Darren Bent with a beautiful cut inside. Gets it across the box. And Desi Lingard is there to put it into the back of the net to make it 3-1. So a very nice goal for him as well. Um, hasn't had the most of game time while he's been on loan. But uh, at least he can get a few goals when he can. And then we head into the 90th minute of the match here. We step up to the spot with Darren Bent. Put about three bars of power, put it to the left and make it 4-1. So it was a bit shaky in the first half, but in the second half we got away with that uh, couple of good goals from some really good players and we made the 4-1 win. So heading into the uh, transfers again, we got uh, Danny Ings here. We're going to try and put a bit more money because um, Burnley weren't quite happy with that deal of just Jamie Ward. So we're going to try and put uh, just under 900,000 in for him and hopefully they do accept that deal. I think that'd be a really good thing because... Danny Ings is only 21, Jamie Ward's about 29 now, so he's not going to go up ratings, and if we can get a really good deal like that, um, that'll be absolutely fantastic. So, heading into our next game, it is in the uh, Capital One Cup against Chesterfield, and uh, yeah, we're going to be playing a bit of a weaker uh, team for this next game. We're going to be playing the uh, three at the back, with Forsyth as a wing back, and Ceci Cambo and Lingard and Martin and Bennett. I think, uh, yeah, we give Bennett a go at uh, this game. So yeah, it's a different uh, formation. It's actually really nice to play as well. It does well against these smaller teams. I think we played it against Tottenham earlier on in the series. It didn't quite work, but I think against a smaller team, it really can work. And we head to the 
30th minute of the match here. Chesterfield pick up the ball on the halfway line with Ryan. Ryan gets the ball forward to Duffy. Duffy runs down this right-hand side, gets it through. Eventually, they do put it across the box and head it into the uh, bottom left-hand corner. Really powerful header that was. I don't know if that guy's got the power header trait or not, but... Yeah, not exactly the best start to this game. I think I was just getting ready with this uh, formation and um, knowing all the ins and outs and stuff. And we head into the 45th minute of the match here. A really nice through ball for Ceci Wancambo. Gets into the back post and Jesse Lingard is there to make it 1-1. A really nice goal. And I'm really tempted to get him at the end of the contract. Um, end of the loan, of course. Maybe it is an extension loan if we can't buy him. But yeah, I think he'll be a really good option just to have in the Premier League a bit of uh, flair. And a young player would be really good. So... Heading into the 48th minute of the match, just after half-time, uh, Forsyth runs into the box, puts it past the keeper and makes it 2-1. And he's barely played a game, so it's nice, of course, when your players do uh, come out of not playing a load of games and then come in, go, give a good performance and then really work into the first-team lineup. That's cool. So, heading into the 54th minute, Forsyth runs down the left-hand side, cuts inside, takes it past the defenders, gets into the box, smashes it into the top right-hand corner. Fantastic strike. Two goals in one game for like a left wing bat. That's absolutely fantastic. And um, yeah, that is how the game does end. So we get through to the next round, which is absolutely vital against Chesterfield. We should definitely be winning, of course, just like in real life. And um, yeah, we get an offer in for uh, Jeff Hendrick. Of course, we're going to reply with 7 million. Carries, we get another offer in and uh, we want 15. And um, yeah, Forsyth, we actually accept a deal and sell him on for just under 700,000. And I'll tell you why later on in this episode. It's definitely uh, the money that we need. So... Going in again with another bid for Danny Ings, 1.4 million plus Jamie Ward. Still a bargain in my opinion as long as we can get him for under like 2 mil plus Jamie Ward. That's an absolute bargain for a fantastic striker working into the uh, England lineup. So next game against Bournemouth it is a lot bigger in real life. Like in this game I think Bournemouth in the bottom 10. But in the championship it doesn't really matter what position you're on because every single game is completely different. Like we lost against Charlton early on in the episode and they're not exactly doing too well in this crew mode. So... We do unfortunately not get off to the best of starts, so we can see that goal. I'm not too sure who scores it, but 10 minutes later we get a ball up to Chris Martin, gets out wide to Roberts. Roberts, who has got a surprising amount of pace, I think he's got about 84, 83, so a decent amount of pace, gets through the middle of the fence, eventually just cuts past the keeper and finesses it into the back of the net. A really nice goal, and it is really handy that he's left footed as well. He's got a new fashion style winger, of course, being able to cut inside and get a goal to make it 1 1. Heading into the 25th minute, Will Hughes with a fantastic tackle, goes past one player, goes past another, puts it through for Johnny Russell. Johnny Russell runs onto it, puts it into the near post and makes it 2-1. A great comeback, of course, like 10 minutes straight away. Getting a couple of goals and getting us into the lead. A really good bit of play from Will Hughes as well there. So heading into the 47th minute of the match here, we do uh, put a load of pressure on them, get a ball through for Johnny Russell, who runs onto it again, gets into the box, eventually gets into a good position, puts it past the keeper and makes it 3-1. A really kind of lucky goal. It did hit the inside of the bar and um, yeah made it 3-1 and that is how the game does end so we seem to be uh, conceding like an early goal and then going on to win the game which is good of course because as long as we're getting the results that's all that really matters so Burnley still want a bit more money for uh, Danny Ings we do put that 1.6 million pound bid in they reject it straight away we get another offer in for Carrius and then we put basically all our money into uh, transfers because Jamie Ward and Danny Ings are on the same amount we put a 1.9 million plus Jamie Ward and Burnley do accept that so that's a fantastic deal if that does go through. If Danny Ings does accept that wage, um, 25 grand a week, that's barely anything. So a really good offer if we can get that through, of course. And um, yeah, heading into the next game against Watford, a massive game in my opinion. I think they are a top four side on this career mode. They are in real life, of course, so it is a massive game. And um, we enter the 10th minute of the match here. They get the ball into the box. Tozza gets it into the back post. Vidra loses out on the header, but Mascarell can't quite win it. Get it into the back post and Vidra gets it in to make it 1-0 in the game. Not exactly the best start, but can we do what we always do? Get back into it and make it uh, like 3-1 or something in the game. Unfortunately, 10 minutes later, they do go on the attack again. Tr uh, Dini getting the ball through for Vidra. Vidra turns, shoots, goal, 2-0. And that is how the game does end. So, a bit of a shame we lost. Uh, I know the audio is out of sync for the last two games. Um, the file corrupted, unfortunately. I couldn't quite fix it fully, but um, we got it as long as that really matters. You can see what happened. And... Um, yeah, not exactly the best way to end off this episode, but we get Danny Ings in, so that's absolutely fantastic. We've only got 20 quid though left, so not really much money, but can we sell a couple of players? We'll have to see in the next episode, of course. Um, we still have got deadline day. A lot can happen in that time. Hopefully we can pick up another couple of players. That'd be absolutely fantastic. And picking up Danny Ings is just mentally good. I, I wouldn't have ever thought in this uh, career mode we'd ever get Danny Ings, but we did. So 
We do get this offer in for Chris Martin here and we do counter off a 4 million. You're going to have to find out in the next episode if he does sell of course. So yeah, smash the like button, subscribe if you're on your channel and see you soon. Bye.